We're here at JTV Studios today to present our first Ahern Family Chiropractic Scholar Athlete athlete of the week award and this week it's going to logan bentley from columbia central logan congratulations thank you i appreciate it jtv sports thanks a hern family chiropractic for sponsoring this week's scholar athlete of the week back here with logan bentley our a hern family chiropractic scholar athlete of the week fresh off your third straight state runner up uh that's awesome. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, talk a little bit about the tournament. How do you think you played? And um, just talk about three straight runner-ups in the state final. Um, my, for like my experiences, I don't think the last three years I've played up to my potential mm-hmm. whatsoever. But it definitely was a great experience. I like playing in those tournaments, especially the state tournament. This year there was a lot of conflict between me and Mia. There's a lot of pressure both ways. And... I really enjoy it. I just wish that I could play up to my expectations, but that will probably never happen. So, well, I mean, that's uh, you've got a lot of golf ahead of you, of course. And you don't, you know, it's not just high school golf. You had a chance uh, to go to Scotland and play. And I know you played in Texas over the summer. Tell me about those two trips. Scotland first. Uh, Scotland was a invitational tournament. My coach came up to me in school. He handed me a paper. I kind of like blew it off as a joke, like, "Oh, I'm never gonna be able to go." And then my parents were talking to people, and I started getting sponsorships to go over there. It was a great experience. Uh, Many people helped out, also for my Texas tournament. And when I was over in Scotland, I played two of the St. Andrews courses. Unfortunately, I didn't play the old course. Um, And then I played the Dornick and their championship course. So that was great. It was a wonderful experience over there. I wish I could go back. And Texas, that was the national tournament. I didn't play great, but again, wonderful experience. There's a new headquarters down there in Frisco, Texas, so that was great to be able to um, see what was down there and where they moved over to. Now, uh, your coach uh, tells us he gave you the nickname Showtime, and uh, it's because nothing comes easy to you. So I want to ask you about some of those runs you have on the golf course, maybe uh, bogey, bogey, four birdies in a row. Is that kind of the way you play? Um, yes, especially with where the tees that I play from are, because in my summer tournaments, it's not so much. We play from farther distances, which I'm a long hitter, so it doesn't affect me too much. But from the short distances, I will be in greenside bunkers or whatsoever. I believe one of the tournaments, so one of the tournaments at Four Acres West earlier this year for high school is a one-day tournament. I didn't have any birdies my whole round, and I shot even par, but I did have two eagles, which was kind of... Yeah, that's unheard of. Yes. Yeah, unheard of. So uh, you're headed to Oakland, uh, going to be a Division One golfer. Brian Stewart, uh, of course, PGA Tour player. He uh, he went to Oakland University. That's pretty cool. Talk about uh, what you expect next year at Oakland. Do you have a chance to uh, get in the lineup right away? Talk about that. Um, yeah, so I've been looking at the lineup. I think that I will be able to – Um, execute and be able to play at Oakland my freshman year I think I will be able to play in most of the tournaments Um, I just have to keep improving I once I get those resources available to me with practicing facilities I think it's going to improve my game exponentially I think it's definitely going to be a great thing for me to be able to have those resources at hand whenever I want them to so I'm very excited how long have you been playing golf when did you first start um, I was always around the game with my dad. I used to just drive the golf cart around and play the sand traps, but I, it was mostly softball for me, and then I was complaining I wasn't playing enough golf, so he told me to choose one. I chose golf because the future options are endless. Uh, a lot of people think you have the opportunity to maybe play on the LPGA Tour someday. Is that in your head right now as a goal? Um, and if so, uh, how realistic do you think that can be? Um, recently, I have gone through some self-doubt about that I would love to get there and then I well originally a couple summers ago I did play an Epson tour event which is organized it's an organization through the LPGA it's just a step below that was a big eye-opening experience for me Um, I was young played bad but I learned so much that's helped improve my game a lot as well but I think once I have those resources available to me and I'll be able to excel my game the way, I think I definitely do have a chance. I have the swing speed, the distance, everything I need to. I just need to work on that short game. Well, you wouldn't be able to uh, to go to school uh, to play Division One golf if you weren't good in the classroom. Uh, talk a little bit about balancing golf with uh, your school where golf support where you do get out of school uh, a handful of times a week. Yeah. 
Um, well, my, I'm very thankful for the teachers that I have. They're very lenient with me. They're very understanding with me being gone. Um, but I do have to sit down and I have to crank out my assignments when I get home and when I get in school. I can't just like talk to people and like linger around. I actually have to get to work and do my things. Awesome. So. Well, uh, congratulations on a great career at Columbia Central and best of luck. Uh, we'll be following you at Oakland University. Congratulations to our, our Hearn Family Chiropractic Scholar Athlete of the Week, Logan Bentley. If you would like to nominate a Scholar Athlete of the Week, please contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv.